I'm going to show you guys how to properly untangle a seagull. You're going to need two hands, so put your one hand, put your rod down, and you want to cover his, his eyes and his beak. Alright, so get your, get your hand deep inside your hoodie, because he's going to bite. And you want to just go ahead gently, okay, once you cover his face, usually it stops flopping, you know, if you can't see what's going on. So this hook actually has penetrated his skin in his wing, and we're just going to unhook him like we're unhooking a striper, you know. Take out the hook. This one's easy. He wasn't wrapped up too bad. So now this seagull is good to go. Okay, you see how easily we did that? That's easy, you know? There he is. He's not too unhappy, I would say. You know, he's pretty cool. I catch a lot of these things. I've caught all different species of seagulls. This is like a very common seagull. Oh, he's good to go. He's like a little roughed up, but yeah, he's good to go. <laughs> so that's it. That's the best catch of the day. Wash your hands though. Those things are freaking nasty. All kinds of diseases on the seagulls. I don't know if that's true. The water's warm though, and I wash my hands. I'm surprised actually how warm the water is.